piece of sheet metal. Got this old wheelbarrow, absolutely knackered, but the handles will be perfect. I'm gonna chop them off, probably around here somewhere. I've got some caster wheels that I bought about five years ago to put on something that never happened. The front wheels from my lawnmower that's over here in the corner somewhere. Reinforce it with all this bar that I've got lying around. We should be good to go. So you roll it around like this, lift it up, and stop it about. So, bought myself a new welder, this power weld, digital multi-process welder. Couldn't find really any reviews of it online. I don't know if it's a new thing or not, but I quite like the idea of being able to do all the welding in one welder. Um, I've, I've done, do a lot of MIG welding, I've never tried TIG, so I thought if I've got one that could do both, then it would give me a chance to learn. Um, so I'm going to be setting this all up in this video, and um, hopefully first job we're going to do with it is to make a trolley for it all to sit on with the gas bottle and everything. Um, but yeah, let's get it all plumbed up and fired into life. <coughs> So the wire we've got in there is 0.8 millimeter, which means we need to put the, the wire feed motor gear facing, saying 0.8 out. The other side is one mil. Plug the MIG torch in. Yeah, it's going somewhere. Feel it coming up the up the handle now. I think. Surely there it is. The next thing we're going to need to plug in is the earth strap. There's a little negative symbol here. It goes in there. So the last thing you need for the mix setup is to attach the gas. Here's my bottle. It's twice the size of what I thought it was going to be, unfortunately. Should have ordered a 10 litre, not a 20 litre, but... Oh well. We've got a regulator. Should be in here, I think. Yeah, it goes in there. Yeah, it's there. Should be in there. Yeah, it's in there. Yeah, it's in there. Yeah, it's in there. Get a big spanner on there. Okay, that's tight. So this one's going to be our output line to the welder. Should have the hose here. Here it is. So we've turned our gas on. Um, I can turn it off again. See if so. This is off. This is our output from the gas bottle to the regulator. It's this dial from here to here, and this dial is our pressure coming from the regulator to the welder itself. We're going to close this gas bottle now, close it right up, and if that drops, then we've got a leak in our system between here and here, that we, this join here that we've just created. So close that up. A few moments later. So there's no leak there. Um, so we'll open it up again. So the gas bottle is now back open and we're going to let, by screwing this in, we let pressure into the welder, into the MIG. So we should, there you go. I actually don't know what pressure you should have really, because, but I just go until it sounds about right. That sounds, that sounds pretty good to me. 
that's pretty much ready to go. I'll maybe turn it down a little bit. You're ready to give this a go, try it out. So the whole purpose of this video really was to turn this part of scrap into a trolley for this whole setup here. Um, so I just want to get the MIG welder working. Uh, the TIG welding is going to be something for me to just work on, I think. I've never done it before. I imagine I'd be terrible at it, but I've got another gas bottle for the TIG. You have to use pure argon, basically. Pure, pure argon for um, TIG welding. Turning this pile of scrap over here into the thing for this. Let's get to it. I'll show you what I've gathered over here with um, a friend helped me gather some more bits. So, I've got, um, I don't know where he got this from, but it's a big sheet pe piece of sheet metal scrap from something. Looks like an old tank of some kind, I reckon. I don't know. Got this old wheelbarrow. Absolutely knackered, but the handles will be perfect. Gonna chop them off. Probably around here somewhere. But I've got some caster wheels that I bought about five years ago to put on something that never happened. These are the front wheels from my lawnmower that's over here in the corner somewhere next to all the rubbish. So the welder's gonna sit on a square of this with the gas bottle. These wheels are probably gonna be at the back knowing how heavy the gas bottle is now so we can tilt it back. Um, chop the handles off, reinforce it with all this bar that I've got lying around and put the caster wheels at the front. We should be good to go. Learning to use a new welder is a bit tricky, but uh, yeah, they're not that bad. They'll hold it. Um, so this is the base. As you can see, it's very flimsy. I'm gonna chop this bar down the middle, put half on this side, half on that side, strengthen it up, and then we can attach the wheels to it. got to say for doing that without a ruler those are some pretty straight cuts I'm gonna go like this All right, so I've just tacked the um, the wheels on where they're going, but this is uh, impressions of it so far. It seems to be doing really well, this welder. Um, I don't really know how to set it up fully. Um, I haven't read the manual at all. 
and I haven't really done much welding in the past, but um, impressed with it so far. It looks really good. Um, I could probably dial it in a bit better, but it's um, getting good penetration on everything, and um, seems like it's going to be pretty solid. I'm probably going to end up bracing these because I'm not. I'm going to weld fully along here and along here, on there and there. Um, but I'm probably going to put a triangle piece like that just to brace those wheels up a bit more. But yeah, you can see some of the welds are really good. Yeah, just spot welding these on. I don't want to weld them too much because I don't want to melt these plastic bits. But yeah, so far, very good. Lift it up, stuff it about. Everything's pretty solid in there. It's quite heavy. Um, this gas bottle is very heavy. Um, but I do think these will need reinforced, these bars. I'm not a big fan on this handle design at all. I may change that further down the line. But yeah, here it is. Pretty, um, pretty happy with that. So my thoughts on this um, Parweld XTM 201 DI, or whatever it is. I'm just reading it off of here actually. Um, it's very good, I think. Um, for the MIG welding I've done, it's been pretty good. It didn't cope very well when it was windy, but you shouldn't really be MIG welding in the wind anyway. It started raining, a bit rainy, a bit windy. Um, fair enough, it wasn't great then, but it, when it was dry, it worked perfectly. It really did do a good job. Um, if you want to see um, me TIG welding with this, uh, s subscribe and stay tuned. I will, um, I will get round to TIG welding with it. Um, I bought a little, another little gas bottle so I can, so I can try. But yeah, as a MIG welder, for now, I'm very happy with it. Um, so yeah, I'd recommend it. Easy.